Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday in my region, Microsoft rolled out the latest Insider Preview build to the Beta Channel Insiders, build 22635.4435, and that was made possible with the update KB5044377. So if you are interested as to what Microsoft is working on and testing in the Insider program in the Beta Channel, just a quick overview as to what has become available. Now, this is what I would consider to be, what I say on the channel, a light release. There's not any major front-facing features, but nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted. So changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out. Um, this includes um, regarding a feature and an improvement for jump lists. So Microsoft says that if you hold shift and control when clicking on a jump list item in start menu or the taskbar this will now launch that item as admin just like if you were to do shift and control and click the app icon itself so they give an example of this they say if you right click on windows terminal and hold shift and control when you click powershell it would open a powershell window as admin so basically the, the long and the short of this is shift and control now will launch that app in the jump list as admin and not just as a normal user. So that's the long and the short of that. And then if we head over to the dynamic lighting, which is found in settings, personalization, dynamic lighting. If you are using this feature, Microsoft says when no compatible devices are attached, the dynamic lighting settings page will now, now show a placeholder message and brightness and effects controls are disabled. Now that's not available as it in the stable, which I'm, I'm demonstrating in this video. So if no compatible devices are attached, brightness and effects um, are disabled with that placeholder message. And also something else to take note of in dynamic lighting, Microsoft says that they've added forward, backward, outward and inward direction options to the wave effect and they've added the forward direction option to the gradient effect. So those are a couple of improvements that Microsoft is working on uh, in the beta channel and um, this latest flight from last week. Now, just to focus on a couple of fixes that are rolling out, uh, being gradually rolled out. First of all, they fixed an issue where the X button to close an app window from the taskbar wasn't working for some insiders so that's a small little niggly issue so that's been addressed and then they fixed an underlying issue which could cause the mouse to unlock from a game window on a system with multiple monitors after opening and closing game bar so you couldn't use it with in the game so a couple of niggly issues that they are sorting out that are gradually rolling out those fixes for the beta channel flight from last week. And then changes and improvements gradually been rolled out to everyone. Now the Copilot key, as you may well know, is a feature that's found on the personalization page in settings under text input, which has already made its way into the stable version, as I have been posting. But Microsoft says now for the beta channel, after disabling the ability to configure the Copilot key in a previous build, Microsoft says that it's now enabling this functionality again with what they are calling refinements, where they have limited the apps that can be launched by the Copilot key to those apps that have opted into this experience. And the reason for this is that Microsoft says it's to ensure apps targeted by the key know they will be used in this way and meet security and privacy requirements to keep customers safe. So it's a bit of a, um, the long and the short of that change, it's a bit of a security adjustment they are making for that copilot key and then we've got fixes rolling out for everyone in the beta channel which are very similar to what rolled out with the optional update for the stable version of windows 11 24 h2 and i'm not going to rehash all of that i'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to go check out some of those bug fixes so that's it guys that's more or less what's new from last week's latest beta channel insider build 22635.4435 so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one